Let's head home, buddy. Hey, thanks for watching. This is my first Saab. It's a C900 convertible. I got it in November of 2014. In the most recent issue of Nines Magazine, the October to December 2020 issue, you can read about how I became a Saab believer and lover. This car came from Kansas City. It was a salvage car. The car sustained front end damage from a front end collision. Um, the previous owner had a really nice restoration done on this car. It received an excellent paint job. It's, uh, it must have had several coats of clear when it was done. Um, the surface is smooth, no ripples, no dings, no little dents. But he paid a lot of money for it. It was in the shop for quite a long time getting this um, restoration done. This is how I received it. It had these funky looking wheels on it. The offset was all wrong. But the previous owner sent with it these stock wheels, which I immediately put on. The car came from Kansas City. It took me a few months to find a car that I wanted to afford. And this one sounded pretty good because of the restoration. It has all new bumpers in 2007, that is. All new bumpers, new headlights, new grille, new directional lights, all the plastic along the side, the, the uh, trim, the wheel arch trim, all the plastics. Strangely enough, the window scrapers were old and brittle. I replaced those when I got the car. But everything on the exterior of the vehicle was new in 2007 when it was restored. This includes all the badges, emblems, everything. I have a, a, a full list, an itemized list of all the parts that were put into this vehicle when it was restored. So now the paint is in excellent condition. It's not concourse, but it's at least a 9.5 out of 10. It shines up really well. A few scratches here and there, just you know, normal wear. But it really is a beautiful In 2007, it also got an interior uh, refresh. We've got new carpeting, new seat covers. It does have a crack dash, but only a few cracks, and I have it covered anyway. The instrument cluster was replaced with 52,000 miles on it, so now with the 17,000 on the odometer. I figure this car has less than 70,000 original miles. I replaced the uh, fabric on the door inserts. I also swapped the passenger seat bottom for the driver's seat bottom just so I could even out the wear. Put a leather chip knob and a leather gaiter I installed an armrest, that's a gotta have for me. I recolored the front seats. Under the hood it didn't really need much, just a little clean up. It idled uh, rough at first, so I replaced the vacuum hoses, distributor cap, rotor, plugs and wires. But it came pretty clean. The air conditioning works, I just had to recharge it and it's held to charge now since 2015 when I recharged it. More example of new rubber trim. The anti-lock braking system doesn't work. Took the ball out. I also disabled that bomb on the steering wheel that's 30 years old. It 
quite like the idea of that thing going off in my face. All in all, it's a really well sorted car. And it's likely of the six subs that I own now, I'll probably own it the longest. Thanks for watching. Stop magic man!